all right everybody in today's video i'm going to be showing you uh we are going to be taking my full one terabyte internal hard drive disk and although i don't have it added to my plex yet i've just been putting it onto it i also have an external solid state drive full of media um so i have a total of three terabytes of like movies and stuff uh, that I am going to be transferring onto this 8 terabyte hard drive. So I'm going to be installing it into my PC. I do not have a NAS or a DAS as the PC life works for me right now in my situation. Uh, the purpose of this is so that, you know, I have my movies and my shows and right now I have it you know, you're telling Plex where to look for all your folders. Where is all the media? I don't want to have to go through and change all of this. So I'm going to be reconfiguring the drive so that I won't have to mess with any of the pathways or anything like that. I won't have to touch with Plex. It will be as if nothing happened. But really, I'm going to be transferring everything to the 8. So... Let's get started. All right, step one, we are going to make sure you close out of your Plex application and you're going to want to make sure that you close or exit your server so it's not running. All right, cool. All right, next up, we are going to be renaming our old hard drive. And the reason that we're going to do this is so that we can name our new one the same name as our old one. So that when Plex looks at it, it will have the same name and folder structure. And that's how we get away without changing anything. So... There are probably several ways to do this, but this is how I do it. Click on your windows, go to settings. Uh, you're going to go to system. Scroll down to storage. And right here, advanced storage settings. And then you're going to click on disks and volumes. And then right here, is my e drive this is the one terabyte that's full uh, you can click on properties and sorry it's going to be this one the e drive properties right here change label and change drive letter so we want to make sure our new one is going to be named the same so go ahead and write that down so you don't forget it. But right now I'm just gonna change this to, uh, you, you can name it anything you want. I'm gonna name it one terabyte. And I'm going to change the drive letter to, let's go with G. So you, you see, I, I already have one called C drive, D drive, and F drive. So those are not options. So don't worry about uh, selecting one that's already taken because it won't give you that option. So I'm gonna go with G, okay. All right, so there we go. And I have everything already. I'll show you real quick my structure. So I have like my movies are all in here. And my shows are in here. And then you go by the show. And then here's the seasons. It's already like all laid out like that. Um, 
So what I'm going to be able to do is once I get the new hard drive on here, I'll be able to just click my media folder and copy it over. And it will keep all the same file paths and whatnot. So let's close out of this for now. And I'm going to now shut down my computer completely and install my hard drive. All right, let's get into it. Really packaged pretty well. So it came with some hardware. Oh yeah, looks good. Cool. Alright, my desktop just has screw up here, screw up here, and then this whole side panel pops off. Slide it back and then off. All right, quick overview of my PC. I don't know if this will help any of you guys out there. Um, I know they all look a little different internally, but this right here is my one terabyte hard drive disk. This is where I'm going to be putting in my eight terabyte hard drive disk and these are the cables for it the SATA and it matches this is for uh six gigabits per second which matches my new one i'm gonna have to pull this rack out and to do that is just these two screws so i'm gonna go ahead and undo these two screws and then uh take the wires out of this clip and then this whole bracket should come out. All right, so now I've got the hard drive installed and I was wrong. Uh, the screws here did not line up with the drive. So for me, it came with four screws and it was actually on the side. These uh, 632 slots, I had four of them. That keeps everything stabilized and from moving. So now I'm just gonna put this back in be mindful of your wires. Of course, don't force anything. Everything should just fall into place just like that. To install these screws up here. I like to always get all my screws started. Don't tighten anything until you have them all in and then go back and cinch them down. Cool. Okay, next up, I'm going to be using these cables right here, uh, but I kind of want to clean up I'm going to put in the cables how they were before I took out this. All right, Let's pop the cover back on. Oh my 
almost there, so remember, come this far, it's not like force anything, you know. Close up just fine. And screw holes look to line up. All right now, all right now. Of course, the scary part: turning it on. I'm listening for like any weird noises. Super quiet so far. My computer's already restarted. Okay. This is all good, son. Cool. Looks good so far, no weird sounds. All right, I'll switch over to uh, screen capture, so, and we'll con configure our new hard drive. All right, everybody, so the new hard drive has been installed. I powered it on, and if you go look, it's not here. Don't panic. We just have to initialize it and uh, do all that kinds of stuff. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So we want to start off by just using run and we want to open up our disk management okay this one right here as you can see uh, it's about you know, that's our 8,000 gigabytes. This is our eight terabytes right here. Disk one. So it's saying that we have to initial, it must be initialized before logical disk manager can access it. So this is what we need to do first. This was our old one that we renamed one TB. This is our one terabyte. And this is our new eight. So GPT is correct. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, right click on our new hard drive disk. All right, uh, here we go, right, sorry. Right click over here in the unallocated and you're gonna click new simple volume. And we are going to walk through this part. So I want to use all the data. I, so this is where I want it to be the same as the old one. The old one was E, okay. I want to use uh, standard NTFS file system, unit size, default volume label. I want this one to be called data, just like the old one was. Okay, so 
is our eight terabyte. Giving it the letter E. We're naming it data, just like the old one was. It's formatting. And it looks like it's done and it's healthy. Cool. So now look at this. We have the same exact setup. Is name the same, all this. So now what I'm going to do is transfer everything from our one terabyte all my media onto the new one. And to do that, so I can watch the process. I'm going to be going from G to E. And this is going to take some time. So I'll be back when we're all done. All right, I left and ran some errands. I came back and it looks like it's done copying everything from the old hard drive onto the new hard drive. Uh, same things. When I go back, it looks like, yeah, it used about one. So I click here. Okay, my folders look good. All my media is showing up. Cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn on my server. And I'm going to go on to Plex. Oh, that's not it. This one. Whoops. And see that everything works just the same. Cool. And look, it recognizes everything's here. So looks like it worked. Awesome. That is how you upgrade hard drives. And then I'm just going to slowly start putting over the two terabyte one and start adding that into my library. So cool. Hope this video helped you guys. And that's it.